Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of Veeam Backup and Replication and Cisco Intersight Cloud Orchestrator. What you see here on the screen is the Intersight Cloud Orchestrator, or ICO as it's known, the workflow page, and you can see my workflows. We've got three that we've defined. We're going to look at this one here, VBR Windows Agent. This deploys agents on bare metal servers, in this case Windows, could be Linux as well. And before we get too far into the workflows, I do want to take you behind the scenes to see what we did as far as system setup. So if we jump over to the system tab, we'll see that we very simply claimed a couple of targets. Now there was some networking that needed to be set up, but once we did that, we claimed a Veeam Backup and Replication target, VBR11A. Now that I want to draw your attention to is a PowerShell endpoint. So we're going to be using PowerShell scripting for our automation with ICO. We also have another target. That's the Intersight Assist virtual appliance. So that's one of the VMs in our lab environment. And it's you know pretty simple, straightforward. We got our claim targets. So we're going to go back to the ICO workflow tab, narrow it down to my workflows, and let's take a look at the tasks that we've defined and which ones make up the workflow we're going to examine today. So if I look at my tasks, we see credentials check. We're going to use that. We're going to create a protection group. That's how we back up bare metal servers. And then we're going to create a backup job for that protection group. That could be one server. That could be racks of servers. Once we've done this, let's go back to the Workflows tab and further examine our workflow parameters. So again, we'll narrow it down to My Workflows and let's go in and look at that VBR Windows Agent workflow. In the designer, we see we've got those three tasks we just talked about and each of those tasks has its own error handling. Once we take a quick look at those, let's go over to the General tab and look at what parameters we're passing in here. So if we scroll down, we see we've got user description, username and password, that's for the credentials. What's the agent? In this case, it's an IP address. What operating system, job type? Uh, and we'll see some of these when we pull up the Veeam console. Those will make a little more sense if you're not familiar with Veeam. Once we've taken a look at those, let's go over to the mapping tab. So all the inputs map to tasks. So in this example, let's go back up here and pick username, for instance, right? Clearly, I'm going to pass that into the credentials check. But if we scroll down, you see that also gets leverage for creating the protection group. Once we've done that, let's go back to the designer. And at this point, let's go ahead and execute this workflow. So as I mentioned, we're passing all the parameters in manually. If you were to automate you know, many servers, you would not do this. Uh, you would automate this process. Pick my endpoint, it's the Veeam Backup and Replication Server, and then put in all of the inputs manually in this example. So very straightforward stuff. Once I've got this, I'll put in here, I'm going to hit execute and we'll make sure that things get kicked off and running, which you'll see momentarily. There it is, it's running, you see the wheel spinning. Now let's go split screen and look at the Veeam Backup and Replication console. You see I don't have any jobs defined currently. I don't have any physical infrastructure, right? No protection groups, no bare metal servers defined, but we'll see very quickly, I'm going to have a protection group. And there it is, uh, created by ICO, or automated by ICO. And in just a moment, we'll see that backup job pop up. There it is for protecting our protection group. And if we look at the properties of this, it is a server backup, so the entire server, so we can do bare metal recovery. It, we give it a name. I will draw your attention to the description. So we know that this was automatically created. The computers, right? We saw it. it's a protection group in this case. The backup mode, we're going to choose the entire computer so we can do that bare metal recovery. 
We're sending it to the default backup repository. We could do guest processing, like application-aware processing. And then we set it on a schedule, in this case, every day at 11 p.m. And that is it. We've created the job in ICO, and it's ready to go at 11 p.m. Thank you for watching this demonstration.